chat letter to the PM. I'll keep it going in the background. Because Sib's on the phone now. Good evening, Sib. How you doing, mate? All right. I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. I think Luton Mello was the last time we spoke. It was, it was, and it was a, it was a brilliant day as well. I mean, uh, we really enjoyed it, and uh, you know, we got to catch up as well on uh, a few of the future things I'm doing at the moment. So uh, yeah, and one one of them is, is this track that we just just had a little bit of, and we can hear it at the moment. Uh, a lot of your music obviously isn't writing about current affairs and stuff of the moment, but you clearly felt motivated enough by what you're seeing, hearing in the news at the moment, to to write a track about it. Yes, that's right. I mean. It's, um, I mean, this is the first time I've sort of written uh, a serious track, you know, about, about the issues in the UK at the moment. Um, and I've always had a feeling that, you know, there's a lot of things going on that a lot of people aren't aware of in the UK. And I sort of wanted to project that through my music. So, uh, you know, that's where the music comes from. And specifically in, in the case of this track, it's it's gangs and that gang culture. Yeah, I mean, it's... A, it's 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 from you know it's from, it's about the youth it's about um, it's about the struggle from uh, uh, you know from the poor people to the rich people um, it's just uh, you know an overall awareness of everything that's going on in the UK so I mean you've got unemployment at the moment which is rising um, I mean the riots that happened in the past as well um, and a lot you know a lot of the things that you know even still happening I mean even stuff about um, Lee Rigby. Um, so it's, I mean, it's quite serious stuff that we're talking about here, but it's all it's all reality stuff that's happened, you know, in the past uh, five, ten years. Yeah, and, and you, it is serious stuff. And in terms of the writing process for you, when you were writing this song, was there stuff that you wanted to, to stay away from that didn't feel right putting into the song, or, or was that the point of it, that you wanted to absolutely get to the core of what you take issue with? Yeah, I mean, when it comes to music, you're always a bit worried about, um, you know, about what you might write about, what you might say, because you don't want to offend certain people or certain groups of people. But at the end of the day, everything I'm talking about is, is reality and everything that's happened in the UK. So, I mean, you know, it's all about awareness and, uh, you know, just sort of uh, bringing an opinion forward, you know, to tell the Prime Minister, you know, that, you know, this is what's going on and, it's, you know, all these issues need to be resolved, really. Um, yeah, I mean, it's and, cool. You know, we, we still haven't got to that point where, um, you know, things have sort of, um, you know, resolved, so... Yeah, I mean, it's cool letter to the PM. If, if you met David Cameron and you had you could kind of sort of give him the, the three things, for example, that you want to see change or you want to see tackled, what would they be? I mean... I mean, the, I think one of the main main issues is that there's there's been a very massive divide between uh, the rich and the poor. So um, you know, you've got the, the you know there's, there won't be really that many middle class people. If you're rich, you know they'll be you know highly rich, and the people that are struggling, you know, day to day to put food on the table, you know, um, I mean, there's a lot of people I've come across. I mean, the youngsters as well that have uh, you know just passed their degrees. And they'll, you know, be looking for jobs and they can't get jobs now, you know, there's nothing out there and, you know, they're struggling with that. So, I mean, you know, uh, there's a lot of things that are even happening now, you know, it's just, um, but yeah, like I said, you know, the massive divide between rich and poor is what is making all these, you know, all the problems sort of, uh, you know, happen and carry on sort of thing. So, yeah, I think uh, that needs to be sorted, really. So was it listening to the, the frustrations of those young people that you say you've been, been speaking to that motivated you to write this song? Of course, yeah. I mean, um, you know, even my little cousins that are growing up, you know, and, uh, you know, you, you get to chat to everybody, all types of people, you know, young and, young and old, and uh, you realise, you know, you know, there's so much things. A lot of people have got so much of their, you know, own issues and their own opinions. And I was thinking, you know what, not all these people get a chance, you know, to speak to the Prime Minister or speak to somebody in high ranking that, you know, will listen. So it's sort of like the, the song comes to, you know, basically to tell that you, know, you can put forward across, you know, that we're all saying it, not just SIB, but everybody sort of, you know, is saying uh, you, what they want to say. Are you trying to get the, the Prime Minister to hear this song? Have you kind of forwarded um, a link <laughs> Downing Street yet? Um, that hasn't happened as such, but I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm, the, I'm one of those people that I'll, I'll try to do wherever I can, you know, to get my, uh, you know, get my ideas across. And I did email the, the you know, the Prime Minister, um, and I got a reply back, which mm -hmm. is nice. Um, I mean, it Did he score the in, track though, out of from... 10? Give you any <laughs> feedback <laughs> on your rapping? <laughs> he hasn't heard the track or anything, but um, I mean, it's, the, the track's releasing in a couple of weeks. Um, and, you know, I mean, you know, if he gets a chance to listen to it, that's good, you know. 
and we've had you in the studio before in, in terms of our kind of introducing acts lot and we've spoken to you about your, your other music as well and this is a slightly yeah. you know, different direction in that sense you're writing about politics having done this track would you now be inspired to write another more topical track if you like moving away from kind of themes of love and let's uh, say something that's, that's about current affairs yeah, I'm always, I mean, I've always wanted to try something different, you know, so this is where it's sort of come from. And like I said as well, it's because of the uh, the issues that are being raised, you know, from, from all the people I've talked to that I wanted to uh, make a song like this. Um, um, you know, so, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind, you know, we'll, let's see what the future holds. But, you know, I mean, you, you have heard of my other music, which is a bit more, um, how can I say, um, commercial. Yeah, in, exactly. Absolutely. Um, uh, but this is something different, and I'm, you know, I want to see what the reaction is of the fans and, the, and of the public, and uh, see what they feel as well. Yeah, and when's it out? You said it's out in a couple of weeks. You said. Yeah, it's out in a couple of weeks, um, and um, I mean, we've got um, a new new singer as well on it uh, by the name of Ollie Sloan, a uh, brilliant singer. You know, um, you know, you know, I, I wanted a sort of a fresh, how can I say, youthful, you know, sound, singing sound to it, and he gives that as well to the track. Um, and yeah, it's out in in about two three weeks um, with a video as well. So make sure you check check out the video and let me know what you think. Yeah, yeah, no, we will do. And and you know, we've almost been doing this show for a year now. I think we had you on probably in about January time, and we we're talking about what you were hoping to do in this year. How, how do you feel that that 2013 has has gone for you? And what you wanted to do musically? We spoke about you performing, of course, at the Luton Mellor, which is where we spoke to you as well. And would you say it's yeah. gone well for you in terms of the music this year? You've done what oh, you've wanted to. This year has been uh, massive for me because uh, the uh, the response I've had from people that have heard the music. I mean, um, you know, the, uh, the single Jana has just mm. just boomed for Adil Hashmi and myself, and uh, uh, we've just you know give, given a fresh touch to you know the Asian music industry. And of course, hopefully, I can push music towards mainstream if uh, they can accept that as well. Um, but yeah, it's gone brilliant, and uh, hopefully, 2014 should bring uh, you know even bigger and better things. Yeah, well, we wish you all the best and uh, and keep in touch with us on the programme. Brilliant. Take care, Sib. Thanks. Take care, mate. Cheers. Oh, Bye-bye. That's Bye. Sib there and Letter to the PM, as he said, uh, out in uh, in a couple of weeks. And um, you can follow him on Facebook and Twitter, Twitter as well if you want to hear that, uh, that track in full um, and keep up with what he's doing.